Have you been diagnosed with nasal polyps? Contact Prism Clinical Research for more information about our nasal polyp study. Welcome to Twins Final Pitch presented by Prism Research with Tim Laudner. I'm Audra Martin. The Minnesota Twins already had two great performances from their starting pitchers to kick off the season. Why not make it three in a row? That's exactly what Jose Barrios did. His the best yet. The complete game shutout, just three hits allowed. Exactly what you could hope to see with a guy as much talent as Jose Barrios. He's got a lot of talent. And uh, the bar was set by Jake Odorizzi on Thursday, continued by Kyle Gibson uh, last night in his performance against the Baltimore Orioles and uh, Jose Barrios, a guy and that starting rotation that some of those on the ball club think that has the best stuff. He might be, as of right now, the ace of the staff. So it was nice to see Jose Barrios go out and have a sensational performance against a pretty tough Baltimore Oriole ball club. And he had a lot of run support to back him up. Here's a look at today's final stats. The Twins putting up 10 hits today, 7 runs, a final score there, 7 zip. That's thanks in large part to the long ball. 4 home runs today, 2 of which came off the bat of Brian Dozier, Eduardo Escobar, and Miguel Sano adding 1 each as well. But of course, the big story today, Jose Barrios, a great outing in his season debut. He had a great day. Um, you know, a lot of strikes. Um, change up, I, I thought, you know, was really a good pitch for him. Uh, yeah, he was just he was aggressive. It was, you know, I'm sure it's a good feeling when you when you got some runs on the board. Uh, and uh, you know, we just kind of were going to ride him and see where it went. Um, obviously, a chance to get his first big league shutout. We were we were pulling for that. Uh, your your first objective is to win. And uh, like I did yesterday, it got a little bit interesting in there, there in the ninth. But you know, to bounce back and win the last couple of games after a tough loss on opening day, you know, you take the series win for sure. So now the Twins jump right into interleague action. They will take on the Pittsburgh Pirates starting tomorrow. Another afternoon game. It also means the first time we will see Lance Lynn in a Twins uniform. And the bar has been set pretty high considering what we've seen from the first three outings from the Twins starting pitching. If he can follow that up with another strong performance, you got to feel good about the direction so far. From yeah, it's all about the pitching and the defense and the Twins. Certainly have done a really nice job of having really good, solid starting pitching, making the plays in the field. Lance Lynn gets the baseball tomorrow in his debut for the Minnesota Twins, a guy that's comfortable pitching in the National League, having to hit during the course of the ball game. And so he's going to get the ball and going to be a continuation, Audra, of a road trip that started back in the middle of February. So these guys are anxious to get home, but they've got a little business to take care of in Pittsburgh in two games over the course of the next three days. And that first game of the series, another home opener. It's a Pirates opener tomorrow, so it'll be an exciting atmosphere. Hopefully that brings out the best in Lance Lynn. We'll see if he can get it done. We look forward to seeing you tomorrow. For Tim Laudner, I'm Audra Martin. Thanks for joining us today on Twins Final Pitch, presented by Prism Research.